Following the rules doesn't guarantee that the police will respect your rights, but they can keep you from digging yourself into a deeper hole. Let's talk about what your rights are in the first place. This is the Bill of Rights. These are the first 10 amendments that were added to the U.S. Constitution after it was ratified in 1789. These rights are protected under federal law, which means everything we're talking about today applies in all 50 states. There are three amendments in particular that protect your rights during police encounters. The Fourth Amendment states that the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. The Fifth Amendment states that no person shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. During a police encounter, the smartest way to take the fifth is just to keep your mouth shut, because you always have the right to remain silent. We'll talk in a minute about how this works. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. So if the police interrogate or arrest you, asking for a lawyer is a good way to assert your right to remain silent. Lawyer up. That's right. Regardless of what you have seen on TV, police don't usually have to read you your rights, even if you're arrested. So it's up to you to make sure that you understand the law and make smart choices. 